right guys i'm back with another video i have been sick all weekend oh my goodness it's terrible it is now sunday and i am finally at my desk trying to get some nail stuff done but i wanted to show you some of the things that i got from enel couture and also i ended up getting some anna acrylics that i'm excited to do some swatches with and i also got some of these little dots that I'm going to put swatches on and glue them to the tops of my acrylic containers. It'll just be easier to find the colors. But yeah, so let's get into it, shall we? Okay, first off, I'm going to go through the Eno Couture stuff that I got. I got these tweezers, and let me tell you, these babies are the best tweezers I've ever had. <laughs> like, yeah. I, I never thought that I'd be so excited about tweezers, but I am. Yep, so I got these. It says Max Estrada on it. And I also got the A Pink Builder Gel, which is a builder gel that is colored. I have it on my nails, actually. My nails are in rough shape. I'm going to do a set of nails on myself because I have got to have nails on, otherwise my real fingernails just fall apart. But this is what it looks like, super pretty, and it's really good for your nails. I can't remember everything that is in it that's good for your nails, but I will look it up again, and I will put it on the video when I edit. It says, I remember him saying something about it's a rubber base as well. So that's really cool. I got the 009 color. Yeah, I really like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. So there's that. And then I also got a bunch of foils. And I am so excited. I think I might use some of these on my nails today. This one has spring is coming is what this says. And then you have the flowers, which is super cute. And then I really like this because it has some words on it. Super cute, super cute. I'm not showing my face in this video because let me tell you, <laughs> your girl looks like a hot mess. I've had the worst headache. My sinuses have been bad. It was not a fun weekend. I was supposed to do nails this weekend, but we had to cancel. Because I didn't, yeah. She didn't want to get sick. I didn't want to get her sick. So I slept all weekend. My mom had the kids that helped out tremendously but okay here's those and then this one I think is really cool too I know it's like it's plain but I've never seen foils like this and I think it'd be cool to like this one's kind of sheer like do the whole um, put the foil glue on and then kind of do patches of it. I think it'd be cool with these. Some of them are darker and some of them are sheer. There's some purple. Ah. This color is really pretty. I can get it out. Mm. Look at that. So cute. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to be using some on my nails. I can't figure out what I want to do. I need to hurry up and figure that out because I got to pick my kids up today at some point. This I absolutely love. 
like a boho kind of look. I really like this. This one, isn't that pretty? So pretty, I wanna show you this one too. Look at that. I can't figure out what I'm gonna do. I kinda wanted to do a boho look, but I don't know. I don't know. Every time I do my nails, it's the same thing. I have too much stuff. I can't figure out what I'm gonna do with it. So there's those. And I thought these are really cute. It's like, oh, and this thing came to me, broke, and they taped it. There was tape all around it. <laughs> Like, I don't know. It looks all scratched up and everything. I don't know, like, if someone used some of it or what. But I thought that was weird. But anyways, it's kind of like the lace. The lace uh, foils that you get that's white and black, only it's gold. Which I thought was super cool. I'm gonna show you each one of them because it's hard to see otherwise. Look how pretty! Yeah, it seems like some of it is missing and that it's been cut. Look at that. Huh. Cute. This is like flowery. I really like that. Lacy looking. And that's all pretty. These kind of look the same. Those two. Looks like it's been cut. Well, that's disappointing. Very pretty. A lot of them kind of look the same, but they're really cute. And then I also have this silver. And I'm not sure if they are the same as the gold now. You can kind of see those better. looks like that. I didn't see a gold one like that one though. I seen a gold one like that one. I can't wait to use 
Aussies. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I'm excited to do these swatches. I've been wanting to try the Anna acrylics for a while. And she finally stocked up. I really wanted the yellow, but she was sold out already. Everybody went crazy buying up all of her acrylic. <laughs> I shouldn't have waited so long. And the last one. Oh my goodness. Whales are so hard to get out. And there's that. Okay. Let's move on to the acrylics. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be using my Nail Mate number 10, You've Got This Brush, my absolute favorite, favorite acrylic brush ever. When I started doing nails, I started out with a number eight, and I don't know, I just, I'm not sure when I switched to a 10, but I like the 10 better. You can pick up bigger beads. But anyways, the monomer I'm using is from Eno Couture, the Cotton Candy Monoma, low odor. I was using the um, Kiara Sky monomer, which I like too, it works great, but the smell is a bit stronger than the Eno Couture, so I switched to Eno. But this color is bubblegum, and this color is the creamy peach. So I'm gonna be doing some swatches here on my little swatch sticks, and I'm going to put one on here and glue that baby to the container. I need to do that for every single acrylic I have, but I don't know if I'm gonna do a video on that. I have a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna start out with the bubblegum, so let's get into it. Okay, moving on to the creamy peach. Um, what I've noticed with this acrylic is it sets very, very slow. So I think it'll be really good for beginners because you have more time to move it around, but um, I'm used to stuff setting quicker than that. So it kind of, I don't know, it's a little hard to work with for me because I'm not used to it setting so slow, but other than that, the color is so beautiful and like, yeah, it's very opaque. I love it. Love it. And this color, it looks like, let me turn the light down a little bit because this is not what it looks like. It's kind of like a, it looks like neon orange, but like a pastel neon if that makes sense. I've been looking for a color like this for forever. Let me try and get it. Okay, that's more like what it looks like. Only just a tad bit brighter. But yeah, that's pretty close. So let's get on to swatching this bad boy.
All right, for this set of nails, I'm gonna use this foil that I unboxed for you guys. And I'm also going to be using this foil. Super pretty. And then I was gonna use this bubble gum color, but ended up not using it. Sorry about that. For the glitter, I used Frank Loose Grip Glitter from Glitter Planet. And the Pink Delight from Glitter Planet. Alrighty, so getting right into it, I've already pushed back my cuticles and took the shine off my nail, put the tips on and cut them down to the length that I want. I decided to do some short nails this time and I hated them, to be honest. <laughs> I'm used to longer nails now. I don't know. I, I just didn't like it. Um... I did this video last weekend. I'm doing the voiceover now this weekend, which I'm doing another video tomorrow. Um, you'll be seeing that next week or whenever I get it edited, but yeah. Anyways, so right now I am putting the dehydrator on, which I use Mia Secret dehydrator. I put this all over each nail on the nail bed and then i'm going in with my nail nails acid primer which i am about out and i don't know if any of y'all know any good acid primers but please let me know a good acid primer i was thinking about getting some from glitter planet but the customs shipping and handling was like 49 dollars and that's like $20 more or no $30 more than the primer so I don't know I might still end up getting it because I'm dumb like that because I love glitter planet but I hate that part of glitter planet anyways um the primer you put one coat on and then right before you put the acrylic on put another layer of primer on and as you can see I'm going in with my clear acrylic from Not Polish and I'm just putting a very little bit of that on the nail bed and that just helps blend the tip in and protect your natural nail so I'm doing that with each of my nails as you can tell, I'm still not feeling up to par, but I feel way better than I did. And let me tell you, it has been a long journey, guys. I mean, it has been over a week that I have had this sickness. It's ridiculous. But anyways, I'm feeling better. Yay. And now I'm going in with that Frank Loose Glitter, and I take a little bead of the clear acrylic, and then I kind of tap it into the glitter. I'm just putting that around the cuticle on my pinky and my thumbnail. I usually do the same colors on my pinky and thumb. So I will let you watch as I do this, and then I will move on to the bubble gum, which you'll see what happens. I mean, I tried it out, and the reason that I didn't go with the bubble gum is because I felt like it was too pigmented for blending up into the glitter. I don't know. It doesn't really look too bad, but I was having troubles, and... I changed my mind and went with Dusky Pink by Glitter Planet. But I'll let you watch as I do this. And I will be right back.
So as you can see, I scraped off the bubble gum and I am now applying the dusky pink to my thumb and then I will apply it to my pinky. So I'll let you watch as I finish this up. For my ring finger, I'm going in with my 180 grit Tammy Taylor peel and stick file and I am just making sure that I have it all smooth and even because I'm going to put some foil on and you want to make sure that you have it smooth when you do that. Usually you put foil on top of an already finished nail but I'm not doing that. I'm doing it underneath the acrylic. So I'm going to take my eye method foil glue that I got from Amazon and I'm going to put a nice coat, even coat of this all over the nail. Make sure you cover everything that you want the foil to stick to. And after I apply this, I'm going to stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds and then I will let it cool for 30 seconds so it'll get nice and tacky. And then we'll go in with our foil. Now I'm going to take my foil from Enail Couture and I cut a big enough piece that will fit over the nail and I apply that on there with my silicone tool. I find it 
the easiest to use these silicone tools. They work way better than the finger and you definitely don't want to use your fingernail because you will apply too much pressure and it just kind of smudges it. So if you do use your nail, make sure you do it lightly, which sometimes you kind of have to in the corners around the cuticles and stuff and the side walls. But yeah, just rub that baby on there and slowly pull up just so you can see. Don't rip it off because I promise you the whole thing will not be on there. So just a little at a time. Take your time and yeah. Now I'm gonna go in with my McCart base coat and I'm gonna put a thin layer of that all over the foil that I just applied and I will cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. This way the foil is protected for when I put um, my clear acrylic on. Otherwise, the monomer will break that foil down and it'll come right off. So you want to make sure that you coat it and protect it before you put acrylic over it when you do it this way. Now I'm going in with my clear acrylic from Not Polish and I'm going to build up the nail on top of the foil. I'm sorry that I am out of frame. I did not do very good with this video guys and I apologize. But this is when I take the time to build the structure and make sure that it's thick enough and make sure that everything is covered. For the pointer finger, I am going to take my iMethod foil gel glue again and I am going to apply it along the tip of the pointer finger. And after I apply it where I want it, I'm going to again cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds and let it cool for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to take that other foil from Enel Couture and I'm going to apply it to the tip there. And then I end up ombre the dusky pink, I think it was, down over that. So I'll let you watch as I do that. For the middle finger, I'm going to go in with the dusky pink again and I'm just going to cover the whole nail with this color. And then I end up going in with my pink delight glitter and I put that at an angle down the nail. Um, I want to let you guys know I have just placed my orders 
for the giveaway. I am so excited, guys. So excited. Um, my next video, I will show you a sneak peek of some of the things that I got. And yeah, um, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite length of nails is. Do you like the short nails? Do you like long nails? I'm curious because I used to do short all the time on myself and ever since I started doing nails, I've gotten into the long and yeah, I, I just can't go back to the short, but let me know down below, leave me a comment. So yeah, I can see your names and I can put your names in my hat so that I can put you in that giveaway. Um, the products that I got, they are beginner friendly because I know a lot of you are beginners and I just want to help you out in getting started with this. It's a fantastic little hobby and... I know you're just going to love it, but I wanted to get you some of my favorite products, so hopefully you will enjoy it, and yeah, leave me a comment so you can be entered. Now I'm going in with my Not Polished Clear Acrylic, and I'm going to encapsulate all of the nails and make sure that everything is built up thick enough and the structure is where it needs to be. I am sorry, I am out of frame. My goodness, this video is driving me nuts trying to edit it, but yes, I am coating them all with clear. As you can see on my other hand, I ended up just putting uh, I used Model 1's white on the tip, and then I ombre the dusky pink down, and I did that on all the nails on my opposite hand because I was not feeling good when I did my nails, and I just wanted to get them done. So that's what I did. But I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go in with my 5-in-1 bit from Kiara Sky. And I am going to clean up the cuticle area and take down bulk and even it out. And I'll let you watch as I do that. And I'll be back.
After my electric file, I go in with my Tammy Taylor 180 grit peel and stick file and I just go along the cuticle, along the sidewalls, and up and over the top and just make sure that that is all married together and smooth and even and take all of them ridges out from the electric file because it leaves lines behind but I'll let you watch as I do this and we will move on to the top coat For the top coat, I'm using the Not Polish Glosset top coat, one of my favorites. I was using the McCart top coat, which I still love. I will always love McCart, but this is one of my new favorites now. The only thing I hate about this top coat is the bottle, like. I don't know why, but it always leaks all around the base of it. I don't know why. It drives me nuts. But I love how shiny it is, so I'm going to quit complaining. But I'll let you watch as I apply this to all of the nails. And here is the final result. I think they turned out cute. I don't know. I just, I just didn't like them on myself, the length, but they, they ended up looking cute, I think. Let me know what you think down below and let me know, do you like long nails? Do you like short nails? What's your favorite? Uh, let me know and we'll get you entered into that giveaway, folks. Thank you for watching and thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do ring the bell so you're notified on future videos and giveaways and all the fun stuff we got going on, okay? Thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.